given the graph below, solve f of x less than g of x, where f of x is the graph of the blue line here with a negative slope, and g of x is the graph of the red line with a positive slope. To solve this graphically, the solution to f of x less than g of x is the set of x values where the graph of f of x is below the graph of g of x. Let's first focus on where f of x equals g of x by determining the point of intersection. Notice how the two lines intersect here. And notice how the x value, or x coordinate of this point, is positive 2. So we know f of x equals g of x when x equals 2, but we're concerned about where f of x is less than g of x. So we need to determine where the graph of f of x, this line here, is below the graph of g of x, this line here. Well, notice how to the right of positive 2, the graph of f of x is below the graph of g of x, which means the x values to the right of positive 2 are the solutions to the inequality. x equals 2 is not part of the solution because the inequality symbol is less than, not less than or equal to. So if we graph all the x values to the right of positive 2, or all the values where x is greater than 2, we don't include 2, so we have an open point on 2, and then an arrow to the right. So this is the graph of our solution, but we're asked to enter the solution using inequalities. So we enter x is greater than 2. Let's also express this interval using interval notation. As we move right along the number line, we'll be approaching positive infinity. So using interval notation, we'd have the open interval from 2 to infinity, where because 2, again, is not in the interval, we have a random parenthesis here, as well as to the right of infinity. But again, for this question, we're only entering the solution as an inequality. I hope you found this helpful.